Welcome to the Enlights Talks interviews. And I would like to ask her to introduce herself. So uh, you can tell us your name, your background, where you come from, what you studied and anything else that you think is uh, important. Thank you, Drajana. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Iva Doric. Uh, I am a Master of Nutrition uh, from Croatia. Currently, I am living in Osijek, a small town uh, that is in the east of Croatia. And uh, I am working in the Croatian Agency for Agriculture and Food in the Center for Food Safety. Uh, I've studied nutrition for uh, five years uh, at the Faculty, for, Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology, University of Zagreb. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about how you were looking for a job after you graduated and how long it took to find it? So after I graduated, after I actually defended my thesis, I had a lot of luck because uh, within a couple of uh, weeks there was this open call uh, in the Croatian Agency for Agriculture and Food. They were looking for someone to um, be a part of a Croatian focal, EFSA focal point team. So I am focal point uh, for European um, Food Safety Authority. So within a couple of weeks I saw the call and honestly I am one of those people who applied only to this call. So I applied uh, for this job and within about a month uh, there were first results uh, and then um, after I passed that first round uh, I had first this writing exam. So you come there and you have a little test uh, and they uh, rate your test, they grade it within uh, two or three hours and after that if you passed uh, if you have more than 60 percent correct answers then you have uh, oral interview uh, can you maybe tell us a bit more about the interview process or any hacks that you think are um, useful in in the job interviews uh, of course well uh, in my interview it was actually pretty brief because uh, when the test was done, like test is very important part of this application process and uh, the number of points that you gain are quite important. And I did gain almost 100%. So, and that was um, a lot bigger than other uh, applications than the other applicants. Uh, so for me, interview was uh, on English because it was very important for them if I could speak English or, or not and uh, they asked me some uh, basic questions like what are my goals why am i applying for this job um, what did i do when i was studying they uh, read my cv and they asked me about my activities during uh, my study years um, and do i have some advice to give uh, well i think the most important thing is to uh, be you I know that's such a cliche thing to say, uh, but you are trying to sell yourself and you can't uh, lie for, for a number of years when you get the job. Um, and uh, just trust in yourself, try to have trust in yourself, uh, believe in yourself actually. Um, and when it's done, don't overanalyze. I think those would, those would be my three tips. Can you tell us what you think, which uh, skills and experiences maybe help you get this job? So, in when you are applying for a job uh, in the public agency like I did, you need to have everything they are looking for and very precisely. And I would um, maybe emphasize two things that I think made uh, my application and uh, then exam and interview a little bit easier. Uh, I have driver's license, which kind of eliminates a lot of people and you need to have driver's license to apply for this job. Uh, and second thing, uh, or secondly, I know I can speak English and write English well. Uh, so that I, I figured out a lot of like the most part of the exam, uh, this test there was uh, your, my English knowledge. And I think that taught me a lot of points and it didn't really require a lot of um, theory or a lot of thinking in a way, a lot of knowledge uh, in, in some general area or um, something like that, yeah. 
So can you tell us what are your everyday responsibilities and what your day in the office looks like? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm working currently on two or maybe we can even say three projects. Uh, so my primary job or my primary responsibility is focal point for uh, European Food Safety Authority, uh, which is in Parma, in Italy. Uh, so on my day-to-day -day, uh, basis, I am communicating with uh, other focal points in Europe. We are communicating by emails, our Teams channel, and uh, what our um, role in Croatia is as focal points or as contact points. Um, it's to communicate information from EFSA to our national institutions that are working in the area of food safety. So we are kind of a bridge uh, from EFSA, from Italy, on this European level to our national institutions um, and collaborating a lot with different people. And besides that, I'm also part of uh, EU Menu team. Uh, so EU Menu is, again, EFSA's project um, at the national level. We are collecting uh, food consumption data uh, or what people are eating uh, here in Croatia. And my role here is to uh, code recipes. So I am the one responsible for um, when somebody says they are eating uh, goulash, for example, I need to write all the ingredients and other things that go along with that. And my final uh, task also is has something to do with uh, science communication. And since I was in end diets, I was social media anchor. So that role kind of continued wherever I go. Uh, and now I am also uh, responsible for social media. We're trying to start, start um, social media for this institution. Who do you usually work uh, with? Who is like your team? Do you have a base team and another one or do you work with different countries? Uh, so one thing that I really love about my job are people uh, and it, that is my team. I really am very grateful to have incredible people surrounding me and motivating me to do, uh, to do better every day. So I'm working um, with different teams, we could say. Uh, when I'm working as EFSA Focal Point, I have two colleagues, so there are three of us who are uh, collaborating together and doing these tasks, we are dividing them amongst us. And then when I'm working on EU menu, we have a little bit broader team, we have five to six people and we are all also uh, communicating uh, when, when needed. And finally, I'm also collaborating with people in my office because these others are not. So people who are in communication or, or in other areas, uh, but primarily communication. And if I need to help them, I'm also there to, to support. And at the European level, we are, I still didn't have a chance to meet all of the other focal points because I am the youngest member of Croatian focal point team. Uh, but we are collaborating and we have like monthly meetings and we are talking uh, virtually so um, we're communicating with uh, different people from all the countries of the EU. Uh, and we can conclude the interview with I think the most important question in my opinion which is can you give some advice for uh, us graduates who are going to be looking for a job really really soon? <laughs> That's such an interesting question. There are a lot of important things, <laughs> but one of the most important things is to think about your goals, think about what you want, because what you want is important. And I'm, I mean, in, in a way, uh, your goals in a way where you want to work, what do you want to work and how flexible can you be? Because once you set your goals, then uh, you do the research, you see what is available and then you need to be a little bit more realistic and see really what is available and what can, what um, aspects of these goals you can achieve. Um, then the other piece of advice I would like to give is to talk, to talk to uh, other students to talk to people who are working in your um, in your area of expertise to try to meet people go to congresses if you have a chance go to some other places where you can meet others and see if they will um, if they know 
some jobs that will open or if you know someone who will hire uh, soon so that you introduce yourself and that you see what they are looking for and if you can maybe educate yourself a little bit more and have a higher probability to get that job. Um, and finally, uh, I think that job hunting or searching for a job is very demanding and it is not easy. Uh, and it's important just to keep in your mind not to give up. So don't give up. You are fighting for yourself. You are fighting for your present, uh, present and your future. Uh, and so many people have already done that and it was not easy for them as well. Uh, and we are all struggling, even I'm right now struggling and thinking about what to do next or what can I do better. Uh, so you're not alone and you can do this. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Thank you for beautiful, incredible questions. For joining us for uh, this month's video. Uh, we can start the interview. So could you uh, introduce yourself? So your educational background, who you are, where you come from in your current uh, role. Hello, so my name is Mirela Alic. I come from Croatia and I finished Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology in Zagreb. It's the capital city. I am master in nutrition, so I finished five years of nutrition studies. It was three plus two, like Bologna studies. And now I work as a food technologist. How long did you look for your first employment after graduating? So I graduated in 2020. In that time, uh, there was Corona starting in Croatia. So it was a massive lockdown for a couple months. After those months, I graduated in September. So the lockdown was finished. And in that time, it was very hard for people to find a job, not only nutritionists, but for nutritionists, usually even without Corona, it's uh, difficult to find a job because it's not so much developed here, like in some other countries. I was looking uh, for a job a couple months, so until New Year's Eve, until January of 2021, I was working student job and I didn't look uh, for a nutritionist job so much because I still had my students' rights. So after that, my students' uh, rights were finished, I couldn't work as a student anymore. So I started looking for a job in my field as a nutritionist. In four months, I found a job in a store uh, as a sales representative and also I gave advice on uh, nutrition advice to customers on healthy foods that were selling in the store. Uh, two months later or one month later in uh, June, I started working on another job which I got and it was intern in research and development. In, uh, in fish industry and the job was not in my city, so not in Zagreb, it was in Zadar and I moved there and it was a job in my field. So I was, uh, I got a job because I finished Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology. What did the recruitment, the recruitment stage look like? So how did you apply for it and how your interviews went? So for my first job, uh, now I just have to say I'm now working in another job. I was working on my first job for a year and then I got another job so I got back to Zagreb and now I'm working here as a food technologist. For my first job, the job was Mariculture Intern, that was the title and they were looking for 11 people, 11 interns that are going to work on different departments in their firm and they were looking for a couple of uh, faculties, people from a couple of faculties, not only faculty of food technology and biotechnology. It was different fields. So the first round was uh, a resume and motivational letter. If you pass that round, uh, you go to the test round. So there were three tests. One was personality test. Second was a psychological test. It was some kind of logis logic uh, conclusion, conclusive uh, tasks, something like that. And the third was mathematical thinking. Uh, if you pass that round of those three tests, you got to the round uh, with uh, the job interview. Uh, I had a job interview online because I was in Zagreb and the job was in Zadar, so that I don't have to go there for one day just to, to have the interview. For the interview, you had to prepare a presentation. Uh, the presentation had to 
contain some questions about you. So why did you apply for the job? What are your expectations uh, for the job? How do you see yourself in the firm? What would you like to do there? And also you had to know a little bit about the history of the company, what this company doing so that you don't just come and apply for the job and you don't know anything about it. So it was the presentation and it was normal uh, job interview questions. A lot of questions were about uh, unpredictable situations. How do you cope with stress? How do you cope with unpredictable situations? Uh, do you like working in a team or alone? It's just basic, I would say basic interview questions that you can expect on every job interview. That was the round. If you pass that round, you got the job. And in the end, 11 of people got the job and there were 130 applica applicants for the job. And I finished in a uh, department, research and development department. And I got the job as an intern in new products development. So it was laboratory and new products development. What were your responsibilities and daily tasks for this role? So how did your typical day in the office look like? So at the first job, um, I got the mentor and I had a couple of mentors actually, because I had to go on different departments to see how the whole firm, how the whole process worked. So in production, a couple of weeks and the rest of the time I was in research and development. So I had the mentor and she gave me tasks every day or every week for the next week or for the next couple of days uh, tasks I had to finish. Also, I worked at the beginning a lot with her. Uh, I watched what she was doing and she was explaining me things, how everything works in the company, what I need to know. I was writing down everything. So that is some kind of a process of learning I had to do to learn all the products because I was working in products development. And usually uh, some job I, were, I was working there was on uh, food labels. So we were responsible for all the food labels, for all the text. What is actually uh, here nutritionist job. So the nutrition is uh, connected with this job because I was doing a nutritive declarations for the products, everything on the packaging, all the ingredients and everything else. We were also doing a lot of uh, packaging testing in the production. So all the packaging, uh, if there are change in packaging, if there is a change in technological process, every change or every new products, we were doing a lot of the testing for that. And we were testing the expiry date of the products because it was fish industry. So it is very sensitive food for expiration date, that is. So I was also doing a sensory analysis every day for some products that we were producing that day for that job. And now, I work as a food technologist and it is mostly quality control and also new products development. So I do new recipes for instant products based on coffee and for coffee products. Uh, I also am responsible for all the food labels like I was in my previous job. So it is very connected to uh, two of the jobs I had. What do you think which skills or experiences helped you get your first internship or job? So for the first internship, I didn't have experience in the field as a nutritionist or as a food technologist or as a new product development uh, person or anything like that. I think the plus for me was that I finished college in five years. So that is not very often today. People often uh, study longer than that. Also, my plus was I was working a lot of student jobs during my five years of studying. I think that shows a little bit of organization skills and time management because you can handle the finishing the college in a couple years and also working beside that. But I think the most important also is the motivational letter. And I think you should make it a little bit personal. So if you had, I don't know, 200 applicants, when they come to your letter that they remember you from the letter. And that is not uh, just basic and uh, written like 100 people would write it. That I think that is the most important, but also I think there is a little bit of luck in all of that because you have to be the person that they are looking for. So I don't think it is problem if you if you don't get the first job uh, because maybe you are not in the boxes, you don't check the boxes that they were looking for. So that is not uh, something you can uh, influence. What are your future career goals or how do you see yourself furthering your current career in this field? 
Well, now, now I am on this position, position for like seven or eight months, so I'm, we can say, new in this job. Uh, and I was working a year before that job in, I said, research and development. So that is one year and seven months of experience. So my uh, actually expectation right now is to learn as much as I can and just to get better in my job and learn all of the things I still don't know. And then in a couple of years, we will see if I get bored or if I want something more, I will look for something more. I don't know. So I don't have a lot of plans for the future, but now I am satisfied with my role and my job. Um, what is your advice for current graduates who are looking for employment? Uh, my biggest advice is that uh, you have to know that uh, if you apply for 100 jobs, like 100 different jobs and you send the resume and the motivational letter and I don't know what, you have to know that 90% of them probably won't answer you. That is the case in Croatia. That was my case. I sent I don't know how many applications for jobs. A lot of them I didn't even get the answer. So maybe like in 190% won't answer you. A couple will answer you and say you did not pass or you didn't. they are not looking for nobody. And then maybe you will have like two or three interviews. So just uh, don't get down if you don't uh, get a job uh, like the first month you finish. It just takes a little bit of time and also a little bit of luck that you find a job that you will like and also that they find the, all the check boxes that they are looking for in you. So it has to be mutual, some kind of click or something like that. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to ask you to introduce yourself so you can quickly tell us who you are, where you come from, what you studied and what you are currently doing as your job. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you for uh, reaching out to me and giving me an opportunity to talk about my first job experience. Uh, my name is Amanda Gashi. I'm uh, 24 years old and living in Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, I graduated uh, last year at the Faculty of Food Technology and Biotechnology, uh, University of Zagreb, and uh, have a master's degree in nutrition. Uh, right now, I'm uh, working as a professional associate at a company that works with nutritional supplements uh, based on superfoods from Peru. Uh, can you tell us how long it took you to find a job since graduating and what were the biggest problems during that process? I was job hun hunting for about uh, three months, a little less than that. Uh, well, I mostly struggled with uh, not knowing what will happen next. Uh, will I get this job interview? Uh, how to introduce myself if I get it? Um, is this position really like for me? Uh, and things like that. What do your responsibilities look like now on a daily basis? Uh, well, since uh, the company that I'm working at is uh, rather small, I have many uh, various tasks that uh, vary from day to day, uh, but some of my uh, biggest responsibilities are creating educative content uh, for social media, uh, writing articles for our website and other website, web pages we collaborate, uh, working on developing new products. Uh, I also do online consulting with our clients, uh, suge suggesting them uh, which uh, product to use based on their uh, health problems. Uh, and some of my tests are not related to nutrition at all. And I even do like uh, packaging of uh, web, shop, web shop orders and things like that, marketing and things like that. Uh, what did your recruitment process look like for your job? So did you have any interviews or tests? Uh, well, I found a job at, at a job uh, searching uh, website uh, and I applied online. Uh, then I have been asked to come for an interview. Uh, where I was introduced to the uh, company and uh, my potential future role. Uh, I was I was <laughs> offered the job almost immediately uh, because of my pre previous uh, job background, uh, because I had had experience in managing social media and writing articles uh, during my student years. What do you think which skills uh, or experiences from before got you this job? Well, uh, I think what helped me the most is my previous job background, uh, working and volunteering at all sorts of uh, student jobs that uh, helped me uh, get this role and 
and that's it. <laughs> uh, what are some of your future career career goals and do you plan on staying in this field? Oh, well, uh, since I'm uh, fairly new to this job, I'm working less than uh, one month <laughs> and I'm uh, also a fresh graduate. Uh, I honestly didn't think uh, this much ahead and right now I'm just focusing on learning to live in a business world and expanding my knowledge and social networks so I didn't think about the uh, future that much at this stage of my career. <laughs> what is your advice for future graduates who are soon going to be looking for a job? Uh, well, I think it's uh, really important to uh, arm yourself with patience. <laughs> And uh, I think for the first job, you you don't have to be too picky because I think every experience, even if it's bad, I think it's uh, uh, you will learn something new and uh, you will get to know yourself and uh, know, you will know what works for you and what does not work for you. So I think these are my two main advices. Thank you. <laughs>